Uh, now, you may remember this time last year when we had the supermoon. Well, this time last year, year before. Just had new year, haven't we? But anyway, uh, about a year ago, uh, we had the uh, supermoon, full moon, called the supermoon, on the December the 31st and January the 1st. It lasted two nights. And... Then we had, in fact, let me show you in Chrome here, um, the videos that we did at the time. Of course, demonetized. <laughs> uh, but that was the live stream of the New Year Supermoon on the 1st of January. Uh, and then if we go to the previous page of videos there, It'll show you the slightly newer one down at the bottom here. Um, where on the 5th of January, I streamed the Wolf Moon and then uploaded high definition footage of it the day after. Uh, now, it's very strange because you had two full moons happening right next to each other and strange events, you know, with the moon happening that close it, it, it was very odd now this year we've not got two full moons together but what we have got is this was the last full moon we had this was the 22nd of december i uh, managed to get a little bit of footage of it through the clouds as you can see um you do actually get to see the face of the moon shortly and you'll notice the two dots up on the top right hand side of it there there's another dot appeared below it between you know there's like four dots looks like a dice now really doesn't it with all the dots on it but um anyway it looks slightly different than it did last year but we've we come to expect that now don't we <laughs> Uh, well, this year, it's a month until the next full moon, uh, which, again, is going to be a wolf moon. Now, we'd, we'd never heard of this before last year, a wolf moon. Uh, and it was said at that time that this will be, you know, the last wolf moon in, in so long, you know, we will never see it again and all this palaver. Well got an interesting story here uh coming up on the 20 what does it say here the 20 20th and the 21st so a day less than when it was last the full moon um we, we're going to have another blood moon but this one comes with a twist of its own a super blood wolf moon eclipse will turn the sky red in january 2019 january's full moon is set to be very special indeed as four lunar spectacles combine to give the night sky a red hue how many times are we getting this combining of of moon events coming together it's it's, it's it's something that never used to happen uh, and here it seems to happen several times i mean I've, I've done other videos throughout the year last year of you know where they've had strange events with the moon we had the pink moon in april and all sorts uh, stargazers and astronomers will be treated to both a full moon a wolf moon and a super moon and a total lunar eclipse on the night of the 20th to the 21st of January. The moon will be at its closest point to Earth in its orbit, lighting up the sky night as a striking supermoon. The eclipse will then give the moon a red glow, creating a phenomenon known as the blood moon. January's full moon has been known as a wolf moon for thousands of years unless you're affected and it's for two years but there you go ancient civilizations track the change in seasons by the lunar months rather than by the solar calendar naming the months after features they associated with the northern hemisphere seasons including howling wolves these names are now used to identify the full moons 
They're really explaining it all to us now, aren't they? <laughs> this is so that people can go down the pub and say, oh, yeah, well, you know, yeah, the uh, the super moon, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, it goes back through the ancient civilizations and they named it after the wolves because they're in the northern hemisphere. And and the, the, the industrial revolution was started by stone. I mean, oh, the unaffected. Astronomers say the super blood wolf moon, you can't get your mouth around that, can you? Eclipse <laughs> will last around three and a half hours and a full lunar eclipse will not be seen again until May 2021. Well, we know that's a lie. I'll bet you we have one in six months and, the, and they'll say, oh yeah, and you'll not see this again until... They keep doing it. They keep telling us we won't see these things again for years and years. And then all of a sudden it's there again. 2019 is set to be an exciting ast astronomical year. Five eclipses, a stunning meteor shower, a rare planet transit and a blue moon will all feature. Yet another blue moon. They used to be as rare as, well, blue moons. Um, it's, and, and this is just what they know about now. Now, as we found last year, they, they were saying, you know, that things wouldn't be seen for so much time into the future again. We're never going to have another eclipse again for another so many years. And then we had eclipse after eclipse. Well, this year is set to be quite a lot of phenomenon going on in the sky uh in particular with the moon but you know meteor showers and and this rare planet transit um every time if you think back to the 2nd of december i think it was just gone um there was a object passing between the moon and earth uh it's the closest that any any asteroid or meteorite has travelled ever to the Earth, we have these every single year now. Um, I I generally get alerted to them from the Dabu Seven channel. I do I do like his channel. I mean he's he's well into the um, the news propaganda and everything, but uh, he calls a lot of it out. So I do, I do like what he does. Uh, but on that particular event on the second of December. Uh, we did have a meteorite asteroid, you know, different places call it different things for some reason, uh, but it, it did pass through and I, I, we, we had a huge shift that night, that, that was one of the big shifts that we had. Um, MA was predicting one for the 28th, uh, I think that one happened a few days before that actually, um, we've both discussed that and we certainly had a, a big shift around about the 20th as well um i do think we'll probably have a shift around about this blood moon as well we do seem to shift around moons um you know like moon events and that um but yeah so look out for these planet transits and things like that they, they all seem to be relevant to shifts somehow um, more than anything other people I see relating to shifts, uh, things like the Schumann Resonance, I don't see any correlation there between the Schumann Resonance and shifts. Um, one thing I would say about that is, say you're monitoring the Schumann Resonance and you see it go off the scales and then you think we're shifted and suddenly the Schumann Resonance shows that we're not off the scales then you could use it as a shift indicator but people are using it saying look it peaks here and that's when we shifted well if you shift when it peaks then those records would change to the current world so you wouldn't see this peak because it would have happened before you got here it would have happened in your old world and not in this one unless it's happening in both but even then you know it's I just don't see how it's an indication myself, but um, like with everything, the moon cycles, you, you know, if you keep track of the moon cycles, the time it rises one night, it'll rise, you know, an hour different the next night. 
Um, and if you keep following that and suddenly you see, boom, it's, it's rising six hours different, five hours different or whatever, you can only do it off memory. You can only do it off what you've been tracking all the way through. You can't go back and look at it because, of course, you're looking at the New World stuff then, the place you've got to now. So <clears throat> these are things to keep a track of constantly. Um, I'll I'll be updating on this and I might live stream on the night actually if I've got clear skies I will I live in Manchester I mean as you can see from you know this footage here you know it it gets very cloudy <laughs> and it does make it hard to to track these things um, when you've got a lot of cloud cover so i will try and get footage of this um if i can't then hopefully somebody who does get the footage uh, will be good enough to pass it on to me um and if it's a bit sporadic i'll just film it and get a video up as soon as i can after it but um it, it's yeah keep an eye out this year for astronomical events uh, they do seem to tie into shifts quite a lot. I'll leave you some footage of this moon, should I? <laughs> it's gone. No, oh, it's back. <laughs> Stop. 